Hey you guys! Don't be fooled with the RS on the box. Today we will have a closer look on the new version of the Tarantula Pro 3D printer. You want to know what's new? So stay tuned! Hi guys! I'm Sandra and this is the Raptor YouTube channel. Last year we unboxed and tested the just released Trivo Tarantula Pro. There has been a few changes since then and now the printer has a new look and it's known as Homer's Odysseus Tarantula Pro. Although it's written on a box Tarantula RS, inside it's the new Tarantula Pro. Before opening the box we noticed some noises coming from inside the package but we will check that in a minute. So, in this video we will unbox the printer and check what's new. Hey you guys, this is Rui. So, let's check what's inside the box. Inside the box we can find a couple of Z carriage plates, a bag with tools, bag with screws, wheels and end stops, more bags with wheels, a bag with the top lead screw bearing and mount plate, the x-axis carriage and bracket, more wheels and screws, parts for the heat bed including the leveling knobs and the Z motor bracket, the extruder, the print head, the heat bed and print surface, the bed carriage, three stepper motors, and under a small piece of foam we have the other two Z carriages, some metal profiles, And on the lower foam we have a couple of bags with more screws and T-nuts. More screws and the printer's feet. Here we have the USB cable and a filament sample, the flat cable for the display and the belts for the X and Y axis, a needle to unclog the nozzle and the power cord, a spatula and the manufacturer card, the display,
more profiles. And this is the source of the noise we noticed before opening the package. The lead screw is inside one of the profiles, so be careful when taking these profiles out to avoid dropping and damage the lead screw. One more stepper motor. The front panel. A couple of PTFE tubes. This is the electronic box. And finally, the Y-axis stepper motor support mount. Okay, so these are all the parts that came inside the package. On the electronic box and on the back side, we have a couple of aviation type connectors to connect the print head and heat bed. Here we have the memory card slot and the USB connector. There's also the power cord connector and the on and off switch. We can see an extra hole here which is used to pass some of the wires. The green Tarantula Pro had an extra connector already connected to the board for the BL Touch upgrade installation. This new Homer's Tarantula Pro does not have that connector. To open the box, we need to remove four screws. The green tarantula was equipped with an 8-bit MKS Gen L board. This new version has a 32-bit MKS Gen L version 1.0, equipped with four replaceable Allegro drivers. Replaceable drivers are a good thing because it's easier to replace if one of them fails or to upgrade with different ones. All the wires connecting to the board are crimped with ferrules which is also a very good detail. At a first glance, the 24 volt input wires didn't seem to have ferrules, but they do. We reviewed so many printers and it's very rare to find a manufacturer that crimps these wires. Most of them just tinned wires with solder instead, which is a really bad idea. At the side, we have a fan pointed to the drivers to cool them down. The power supply is at the other side secured by a couple of screws. It's a 24 volt and 8.5 amp power supply. Same model as the previous TiVo Tarantula Pro. Unlike the green Tarantula Pro, this one has more space and a slightly more powerful power supply would probably fit in here. All the parts are separated in bags and labeled with the sequence for the assembly. They still have the TiVo name and logo on them. We're guessing that this is because Homer's still has some TiVo's inventory left and are using it. This might be the biggest change in this printer. Some parts that were made from metal on the green Tarantula Pro, in this new version they are now made from injection molded plastic. We would prefer to have the old metal ones, but Although they seem to be sturdy enough, we need to assemble everything and test first before we can say if these plastic ones work or not. And this is the print head. It's basically the same with the two blowers at the side to cool down the filament and a volcano hot end. The plastic cover was redesigned and it looks more rigid than the one from the green tarantula. The carriage and hot end bracket are these ones and these are made from metal. On the first batch of the Green Tarantula Pro, the Y-axis stepper motor was bigger than the other ones, but on the following batches, the manufacturer started to ship the printer with all the same motors. In this new Tarantula Pro, all four stepper motors are exactly the same. And here is the display. 
it's exactly the same model as the one from the Green Tarantula Pro. The extruder is the traditional Titan extruder. The print surface included in our package, which also has the TiVo logo on it, needs to be glued on the print bed. The print bed is made from 3mm thick aluminum and includes a strain relief to protect the cable while moving. And this is the Y-axis carriage made from 3.2mm thick metal. There is no written assembly manual included, but don't worry, we will have the detailed video ready for you in no time. And that's it you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like to help the channel out, and feel free to leave your comment down below. Also, if you're not yet a subscriber, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. We will see you guys next time, bye!